Good morning, Earthlings. It's uh, another day. I figure I'll make a blog post. I'm uh, thinking about making a video about, you know, I'm trying to, I think I'll use my laptop and try to get a screenshot of my laptop while I'm talking on the phone. I don't know if this is going to work, but I, you know, tomorrow, my weekend starts tomorrow. And so I'll, my weekend, actually it starts today after work, after I get off work today, that's, that'll be the beginning of my weekend. And I'm going to try to see if I can make this work where I can make a video with a screenshot of my laptop. And with this little video, that I make with my phone in a little corner of the the, the the screenshot. See if that works. It's just an experiment. I'm learning this stuff as I go along. You know, it's very interesting. It's fun. I because I'm working full time. I'm. I, it's like I got two days a week that I can work on this website. I do a little bit of work during the week, but not a lot because my job is kind of busy it's a busy job and it's a retail sales and it's a really busy store that i work at and it's fine it's all right i don't, I don't mind it and uh i'm uh doing that you know uh and uh just uh trying to figure out how to I'd like to turn my business into something profitable. I, you know, I've, I've been telling stories my whole life. I've been writing stories my whole life, basically. But I've never, you know, this story started out, it was called Future World. My original story that I first wrote was called Future World. And it was all about the Earth as being one civilization, expanding into space, you know, the whole spacefaring civilization thing. And, one world unity and then uh, then I found out about the Baha'i faith and that was like oh wow there it is there's your one world unity right there and so I'm uh, doing uh, you know thinking about creating one world unity you know the prosperity for all mankind you know, because I was like poor homeless guy, man. I was homeless for a long time, man. I poverty. You know, my mom was like 14 when I was born, and she didn't know anything about raising kids, and so we grew up wild. And uh, my uh, so part of my objective with this website is to teach people, uh, young kids how to get started in life. I, I want, I don't want anybody to suffer what I suffered. And, 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 and I'm not a victim because a lot of my problems are self-inflicted. But I'm just saying, I, you know, I, I want to try to help anyone who wants it get started in life and, and have, be successful in life. And, um, you know, first thing you should do, I say, invest. Take some of your money, you know, five, ten percent of your income and invest it in the productivity of the people of Earth. You know, buy companies, buy real estate, buy, you know, something that it will return, you know, and a profit. And um, start doing that when you're a kid and just do it for your whole entire life so that when you retire, you have income from these assets that you bought. An asset is, uh, property that you know puts money in your bank account and that's you know in an asset you know a, a liability costs you money uh you know and uh an asset earns you money and so your money goes into your bank account you got your profit and loss and your income and your uh assets and liabilities you know your whole that whole cash flow quadrant you know mathematical formula for prosperity you know keeping track of that and learning how what you're doing and paying attention to what you're doing and earning a profit and uh you know investing by you know 
The best investment, in my opinion, is the productivity of the people of Earth. You know, it's not gold, it's not anything material. It's the productivity of the people of Earth. So work on that and invest in that and own the means of production, own your own means of production. That's why, you know, I don't want Microsoft owning my computer software because, you know, I, I pr just would rather have my own private property. And, uh, you know, I don't have anything against corporations. You know, they do good things and I, I'm not against that. I just want my own private property. I've been thinking, another thing I've been thinking about is building my own computer. This new job I got, uh, you know, I've been buying tools. They're mostly for automobiles, you know, auto parts store. I work at an auto parts store. And uh, so I'm getting all these mechanic tools and I'm thinking these are good tools for my computers working on computers and I'm thinking you know I should build I've been I've thought about building my own computer for a long time but then I also think you know what I think I'll just let some pro, pro you know people that are doing that for their living you know doing that professionals build the computer I don't know what I'll do you know I heard some good new you know not so good review of the the uh what is it the um Anyway, the, the system seventy six. I you know they're loud. I heard it was loud and and they don't have any USB ports on the front of the computer. All the ports are on the back of the computer, which is what? Why would you build a computer with no way to interface with it? You know, on the front of it. You know, I mean, I don't mind. I have a bunch of stuff connected to the back of my computer too. But I got some good. You know, I got some. Uh, ports on the top of my computer that I can plug things into really handy, you know. I don't have to like reach over to the back of the computer or anything like that. Anyway, so, you know, you just work on setting up your stuff and getting yourself a little workstation set up and and you're going to do whatever, you know, there's different kinds of things you could do like uh, Inkscape and uh, GIMP and create art. We need a lot of art because there's not some the art in in uh, for like the internet and Linux and everything like that is not nearly as good as it used to be. When I first started, you could get really beautiful, you know, like say background screens for your computer and uh, for your desktop, and the, the ones they have today are just they're not terrible or anything but they're just not as you know they're kind of cheap and basic and easy you know not you know beautiful elaborate ones and stuff like that so make some you know I'm gonna I want eventually I want to start doing some of that and creating art you know and different kinds of thing for my website art for my website and uh so, you know, start doing that, you know, and get, and learn how to create art on your computer. Use these tools to create beautiful art. And um, it's entertaining education. Whatever your interest is, you know, because everybody's got their own interest. You create a website about that and you create and teach people about something you know. And that you you're you like and you're interesting. It's got to be fun, you know. It's, you can't do this if you're just doing it for the money or anything like that. You gotta enjoy it, I think, to make it attractive, you know, because people can pick that up. And uh, you know, the one my problem is, is, I think what I'm talking about. Well, no, I think my my, you know, if I was only talking about websites, I would be in. You know, there's a lot of people that know more about computers and websites than I do but the fact that I my holistic perspective of it and putting the business and the computers and the websites and the art and the culture all in one holistic home office website is you know 
it's I think it's a good perspective it's something different you know my global perspective uh, you know I'm a nationalist and a globalist I like the United States it's my favorite country and I like the United Nations I believe the United Nations is the richest greatest civilization in human history nothing even compares to it not even the United States in the 20th century you know when we were sending people to the moon and we sent robots to every planet in the solar system now and you know I mean we the United States accomplished a lot in the 20th century and building skyscrapers all over the earth and you know and this civilization this one global civilization that's it's here now and it's the richest greatest civilization in human history by far I mean, what, what the United Nations accomplishes in the 21st century will dwarf what the USA accomplished in the 20th century. And um, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be fun. It's, it's like an adventure, you know. And I, I've been a news junkie my whole life. I've been watching the news and paying attention to what's going on. I like geography. I, you know, watch videos about places all over the world. I, I kind of travel the world by video. I wish I could afford to actually really travel around the world and I've done my a little bit of traveling but not a lot because you know I just haven't been able to afford to you know that's one reason why I wish I could start making some money with this website so I could in the you know the book and you know the book is really the only thing I have for sale right now is one book I'd like to get to where I have several books for sale and I, I don't know what I would, I'm going to have to work on monetizing this website better. You know, I got my little uh, affiliate marketing links, you know, the advertisements where if anybody ever buy, clicks on one of those links and buys something, I, I get a little bit of income from that, but I've never gotten any income from any of them. I keep them on my website because they kind of, make it more interesting you know it's colorful they're colorful and they make the website a little bit visually and more interesting i like the stories the way that column width is pretty good for reading because my website originally was kind of a reading you know read these stories was this thing now i'm doing these videos uh, at some point I'll get back to writing again. I haven't been writing at all lately but just because I've been so busy working at this new job. But, uh, you know, just get your website up and start creating content. That's what to do. You know, if, you're, if you want to do this, I mean, you may not want to do this. You may want to do something entirely unrelated to the website or unrelated to computers. You may want to buy houses and fix them up and sell them. That's a good way to make money in your holistic home office. Or, you know, buy stocks, you know, and be a stock trader and trade, you know, currencies and stock and all that kind of stuff and make money. You know, I think the world is going through a huge transition. I don't know exactly what it's going to be like. I have a feeling that the whole money situation is about ready to go through a really dramatic shift and it's kind of probably going to be a little sudden I think I don't know that but it's just going to be where all of a sudden you know the old system is gone and there's some new system and I don't know what that new system is going to be like I think it's going to be more fair I think it'll be a lot fairer it may get worse before it gets better but I think there's going to be you know, we're human beings all over the world have the same motives, the same desires. They want their kids to be safe and prosperous, and everybody wants to be prosperous. And we're going to make keep making the world a better place. We've been making the world a better place. No matter what anybody says, don't you know, the world is a lot better. I'm so happy that I don't have to ride around on a wagon, on a sitting on a wooden seat behind two horses. You know, or two or four or however many horses, you know, they're farting and shitting and all that, you know. And so we're doing good, man. We're making progress. We're not perfect. We never will be perfect. When You know, we're, no matter how advanced we become, we can get more advanced. And so, you know, just keep learning, keep studying, keep seeking the truth. And 
creating content and building whatever it is you want to build your your own free enterprise build your free enterprise thanks and have a great day